Okay, the shelter's pretty much done. Um, it's getting getting later for sure. It's getting darker. So um, tomorrow, if I want, I can put more leaves on there. Depends on what my situation is and where I'm going. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure I'm going to stay here um, tomorrow. I'm going to head down river, so chances are I won't be here. So I'm not going to put hours and hours into the shelter. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. But anyways, this will be plenty good for tonight. I got my little bivy in there. Got some firewood and collected a few rocks from the river right here just to give me a little bit of reflection and to find my fire a little bit so let's try to get a hand drill fire going here before it gets too late first thing I have to do is make my tinder bundle I'm going to use that birch bark we collected earlier for that What I want to do is just process us up a little bit, get it to be a little finer and thinner, catch fire better. So I'm just going to kind of process the fibers a little bit. friction fryer, you have to make sure everything is right or you're not going to get a fire. You have to make sure your tinder bundle is right, your fireboard's right, your spindle's right, your technique is right, you have firewood all ready to go, because it's not something you want to do over and over again. The idea is to get it your first time. What I kind of do is just start to knead it into a bird's nest here. Hopefully it's dry enough. Okay, so we got the bird's nest here in the bark. Next, we're going to use some of that cattail fluff. I really need to get a fire going because these bugs are relentless. And I need it for warmth tonight. So I'm going to take some of this cattail fluff. I'm just going to pull it apart. I'm going to stuff it right in the middle here. center. So we'll save the rest of this for some other time. I got here is a piece of birch bark that I cut off a tree that's over there just to catch my ember. <coughs> so what I want to do here is I'm going to make a hole 
in my fire board right here with my knife. Just kind of dig it around right here and get it so it's the same width as my spindle somewhat. Pretty close. So now I'm just going to work that hole just to get it a, bit, a little bit deeper, a little wider, and then I'll cut the notch. That's enough. Let's create a little bit of a hole right there. So now I can notch it and I'll be able to go for a coal. So my notch is just a pie shaped notch. It's going to not go quite to the center of the hole right there. And it's going to flare out towards the bottom. I'll show you a close-up of that. These bugs are vicious. I'm trying not to hurry. I'm trying to be relaxed. do everything right the first time. I don't want to make any mistakes because I need a fire tonight. So if I blow my hands out because I did something stupid or I rushed, I start to create blisters on my hands, I'm going to be screwed. This is the only thing I have to make fire tonight. I have no lighter. I have no ferrocium rod. I have no matches. This is all I got. It's friction fire. So, it has to work. You just have to let the bugs eat you alive while you do what you have to do. Try to block them out. Otherwise they're going to drive you mad. Okay, so I'm almost to the set, almost to where I need to go. This here, a little wider on the bottom. The reason why I make it wide on the bottom here is to collect a lot more dust and to let oxygen into the dust to create that coal that I'm looking for. So when it's large on the bottom there. You can get more dust and more oxygen in there. You get what you need. This right here is just a piece of white pine that's soft enough, it's been dead long enough that it works pretty well for friction fire. And my spindle is a piece of mullen, it's a plant, this is the stalk in the plant. It has a pithy center with a woody outside and it works superior for a handrail. So I'm going to make sure this is right before I actually start. So like I said, I don't want to have to do this a second time. Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay, 
So what I got here is, this is the hole that I just started. It's a pie shape, doesn't quite go to the center right here. And it flares on the bottom, gets wide on the bottom. That's where the dust is going to build up. The oxygen is going to come in there and hopefully get a call. So let's go for it. I'm in a comfortable position. Don't want to have to do this a second time, like I said. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I have a little pine pitch right here. I collected as well. I'm going to put that on the spindle. That helps quite a bit to get some friction on this thing. Because otherwise your hands slide around a lot. This works really well. It's a trick of mine that I use to get some serious friction on this thing. Your hands sliding around does no good. It doesn't help you at all. Every bit of energy I put into this thing, I want it to be where it's building a coal. Because when you're surviving like this, every calorie you burn, you want it to count towards something. So, preparation is key. Okay, that's pretty good. Tacky, really tacky. It doesn't stick to my hands, really. So, let's give it a shot. First thing I'm going to do is just build up some power. I mean, some powder. I'm going to go nice and easy. Heat up the fireboard. Build up some uh, powder down there. Some dust, and then once I see enough dust, I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure and go for a call. going nice and easy here. Building up some nice dust. But I want enough dust to carry a nice call. Whew. Take a break for a second. Rest go for a call. <sighs> Looks like we got one. Right there.
Sometimes you don't get it your first time. You pray that you do, but sometimes you don't. You just try your best. You give it everything you've got. You prepare the best you can. And you pray for fire. Looks like I got it. Thank God. I did not want to have to do that again. So I got a shelter, keep me dry, I have a fire, I can purify water, I can cook, keep me warm. So now I can relax a little bit. With a shelter and a fire, I'm doing much better than I was earlier today. Definitely gonna have to collect a lot more firewood tonight, but at least I got this fire going. Some of that cattail stock that I collected earlier today. That's all I have to eat for tonight. That fire feels good and it's keeping the bugs away, which is a huge morale boost. Next what I'll probably do is go down to the river and get some water, put it in my container and boil it. So I have a little bit of food, a little bit of water, my morale will come up. Fire helps hugely to bring your morale up. Tomorrow, I'll probably do some hunting. See what I can get for some small game around here. Maybe some some rabbit or some squirrel. I definitely need to get some protein. Things are looking much better right now. We'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>